Well, her eye is actually green. Woo! I'm Chewy Mew. Welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome to another Chewy Mew video. Where today, we're going to be taking a look. I went ahead and I showed you guys how I fixed the Sinister Six Spider-Man's neck by using Spider-Girl's thighs. I have a lot of uh, different adventures on eBay where crazy stuff has happened. Where I had that one review where I meant to buy a figure on eBay. And then the seller sent me a completely different different figure. Titled that the worst review ever. And so this was also going to be the worst review ever. Which I think I reviewed it and I deleted it because I was mad. Where I bought the, the Spider-Girl figure on eBay. In order to make a um, agony custom, because you know, uh, uh, I think Spider Girl's hair looks pretty good for agony. You know how it's like blowing in the wind and stuff. It looks like trying to rotate this joint here, and it didn't work, and it broke. Trying to move the wrists, they both broke too. Uh, the ankles broke. I'm pretty sure what the person did to try and rip me off to like you know, I guess just be a piece of crap was they broke the they broke the wrists here. They super glued them on. They broke the super glued. It broke the super glued, and then when I tried moving it, it broke. Um, I really, really, really wish the camera would have been rolling when I would have opened it up, but I opened it off camera. So I ended up making this cool custom by using Spider-Gwen. So yes, this is using a mix of the, of the Spider-Girl thing, and I decided to customize Spider-Gwen because I don't really care about having a Spider-Gwen figure. I feel like it's, in some cases, better to just take it and make a custom with it than just, you know, sell it. Because if I sold it, I still wouldn't be able to make an Agony custom. And so this is the Agony custom. If you don't know who Agony is, it's a symbiote, one of the Life Foundation symbiotes that was, it was Avi Arad's excuse to make Venom Power Rangers so he could sell Venom toys. And hey, I mean, it kind of works because I now own a purple Power Ranger toy, Venom-themed Power Ranger toy. So I painted all of it black, or painted all of it purple here. I mixed like maybe like five or six different colors of pinks, purples. I used some blue and red and stuff to mix it together, try and make the color I wanted. Um, it didn't really work out and turn out that good, so I decided just to mix purples and pinks until eventually I got this color. And, um, in some parts it's kind of noticeable, like in the hair it's noticeable here. You can see it looks like there is a bunch of different colors. You have like a blackish, a dark purple, like a lighter pinkish. In real life it looks like there's like five or six different colors in the hair, and there is. And the way I did this was I painted it, I originally painted it all, um... You can't even really see the original color anymore because it looks there's like so many different colors here in the body here, like especially on like the torso here and the arms. I used a bunch of different colors. I painted all of it just one plain purple color, and I was like, I don't really like that color too much. And so what I did while the paint was still a little bit moist, I took a paintbrush, I did a little bit of dab on the brush, and then I kind of just very sloppily, not, you know, painting lines and stuff, I just took it very sloppily just like, you know, slapped paint on the figure and gave it the sort of pattern. That's how I got this black pattern as well. Um, because a lot of the symbiotes have, looks like they have, like, black slime, or, like, you know, muscles and stuff shading on them from, I guess, the original Venom colors, like, her face is black, um, Scream's face is also black, you know, um, so, the way I did this was, I just took, a, like, the thinnest black, um, or the thinnest paintbrush I had, I dipped it in black, and then it just kind of went like this, like, I actually just took the brush and just, like, just went like this all over the body, a little bit got extreme on the chest here, because the clay on the, for the breast was still, um, uh, what's it called, still still moist, or no, it wasn't like completely hardened yet, so the paint kind of just like, it just soaked up the paint, I tried painting it purple and I just left it like that, um, so yeah, it also does have, uh, I made uh, breasts for it to make it look a little bit bigger, I mean, I guess, it's kind of weird, but I'm, I think, I think it actually, it looks pretty, it looks pretty real, you know, on the figure, it doesn't look, it doesn't look too fake, I mean, if you look at some kind of angles, it does look fake, but overall, it looks like it kind of fits with the body, and, um, so, yes, the other thing I sculpted on was these teeth, and I was gonna sculpt eyes, but it, I, I honestly have such a hard time sculpting eyes like this, and so I just basically just took the eyes, which were originally white, and I just painted, painted them all white, a different shade of white, which, and I think that might actually be the original white paint on the eyes, but then I took, um, some Sharpie paint markers, and I kind of just, did like little little designs on the eyes to not make them. You know how their eyes don't look completely um, you know, completely normal like Spider Man's eyes. I guess like looks like the symbiote is crawling under the whites of their eyes. And also made the teeth here too. The teeth are also um, sculpted with clay. So I sculpted a thing. I just took like a like a little triangle shape, and then I took my tool and I kind of just just kind of like like made a bunch of cuts on it and like the shape of teeth. Like I did some like up and down some like triangles, make it look like like fangs and stuff. Which, you, when you look at it really close up like this, it doesn't look that good, but when you look at it from, like, a distance, kind of like here, it looks really good. You know, especially if it's blurry, 
Now, if it's blurry, it looks really good, especially. I think the only issue I have with this custom in general is, um... I honestly don't really have any issues with it. I mean, I guess the paint here on the joints could be a little bit cleaner. Um, you know, of course, if the paint didn't peel off so much, but... I'm talking strictly on just uh, my overall, like, the quality of the custom. There's, you guys might... Uh, let me know if you guys think... If you notice anything that seems, like, just blatantly, like... Like, an issue or something. You know, well, her eye is actually green. You know, something like that, but... This one, the only tricky thing I think was, was um, figuring out how to make these claws. And the way I made these claws was, these came from the, the Ultimate Green Goblin Build-A-Figure Wave um, Carnage. And so that Carnage figure, I actually reviewed it, and uh, for some reason that video got copyright struck and YouTube YouTube deleted the video. For some and uh, I meant to keep trying to do reviews for it, but eventually I just, I just kept making customs. Like, I used that body to make a custom riot. I used the head sculpt. I did a bunch of stuff there. And, you know, just like Carnage would have wanted, I made basically almost kind of two customs using his body parts and stuff. I used another part to make uh, a custom arm for Craven because my dog destroyed uh, Craven's left arm here. I think all that might be left is maybe, like, his right arm. I think everything else is taken, but these claws came from Carnage. You see here compared to Scream, which these two should be the same height, and um, they're not. Originally, what I wanted to do was to make this custom, I wanted to buy another Scream figure... Because, you know, this basically has all of the work done. I was basically just need to paint it purple and maybe modify the hair. But now this sucker, it, this figure is really expensive on eBay. That joint's kind of stuck. This figure, I've seen people sell for like $40 and up. I bought it on eBay, Um, I think for like $17. Every symbiote figure I have is a different size. How these claws are uh, smaller than compared to Scream's. You can see how Scream's claws are bigger. The other hand here, too. And what I did was... I uh, took these. Cl I took a claws like these, and I cut off all the spikes on the hands. I cut the the tips of the claws and stuff. I cut them down to make them look smaller because on the original ones, I mean, I tried it. I thought it was going to look cool, but a hand this big on a body that small, just the proportions just looked really off with it. Spider Girl here. I have no idea what her name is. The Spider Girl figure here. So I had to put glue dots there to keep it, um, to keep it tight because if not, the head would just be like a bobble head. But that allows looking all the way down. You can't really look up because the hair, but you can get it in all sorts of angles without the hair getting in the way. You can move the arms um, pretty much all the way up there. The arms can go all the way around. The hair kind of blocks it, though. You have a single bend in the elbow, which I really wish it was double bend. It does rotate here as well. Rotation here and hinge in the wrist here, like normal hazard figures. A ball jointed torso, which honestly, that kind of that doesn't really do much, honestly. Nothing in the waist, though. I really wish we had, like, an ab crunch or a waist swivel or something like that. The legs kick up uh, not that high up. They can... They, I think these ones, they can do the splits um, fairly decent. The Also, these are legs are customized, too. These, I actually... They have more plastic cut out on the... I actually cut more plastic out of the, like, the waist thing on the side here, so it goes up a little bit higher there. And also has this sort of ball-jointed leg kind of thing to it, where you can kind of get it kicking up more if you rotate the ball. This knee is really loose. Double in in the knee, rotation here in the boot, um, an ankle pivot here, the foot goes forward and back like that. And on the bottom of the foot, it says uh, Made in China Hasbro, and this other foot here says Hasbro 2016 Hasbro, or Marvel 2016 Hasbro. I thought it was much more recent than that. This is also, this isn't the... Um, into the Spider-Verse, uh, Gwen. I wouldn't customize that if I had it. I think that one looks cooler than that one. Just in case you're curious, this one on the bottom of the foot. I think it says 2013. Come on. Yeah, it says 2013. It's hard to tell, but yeah, it says 2013 there. Um, let me know what you think about it. I think this is a really good one. I, might, I will do a video, um, pretty soon, actually, where I'm going to be taking a look at all of the Life Foundation symbiotes, or as I like to call the Venom Power Rangers. But yeah, so that's over this video. If you liked it, be sure to let me know, and I will see you guys in the next review. Wow.